This is Double Double J whipping with Joe. Anyway, thought I'd share this with you today. This is real number 80. The real number 80. This is a Spheros. This is the uh, newest one, and this is the HG model. This is a high speed. This is a let's see, uh, it's, it's a 5.721. Five, uh, and this one gets 41 inches for the retrieve, 16 ounces, and it's 22 pound of drag. And this is the older guy. Uh, this is a power one. This is a slower ratio. These are all JDM models, by the way. I uh, can't find a US model yet. But uh, when it came out, it, this is the original model. The 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 the, 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 the uh, export one, which is a USA one, was 100 and about 155 dollars. This was in 2014. Currently, you can pay around two hundred dollars for it if you can find it. This is, is rare; it's hard to find it. Uh, but apparently, this is both the same. Uh, not the same, but I mean, uh, one is uh, a faster retrieve, and of course, this is the twenty twenty one or twenty twenty model. One of them numbers. But anyway, uh, the only difference with this one, suppose, is the infinity drive, and uh, um, and. Uh, that's about it. Uh, let's see. So I'm cranking this guy, smooth, like any reels. And this is the other console part. And see how this guy is. Yeah, I would say the the the, the old spheres is easier to crank. <coughs> I mean, it's like more. It's tighter. I mean, right off the box, there's a difference between the two. This is like a little tighter. And you can feel this a little tighter crank it yeah, it's a little tighter but like I said this is uh, six years down the road this is the older model you hear some noises though like some, some looseness looseness in the handle very very, very uh, barely perceptive though but uh, so this will be number eight zero and uh, what I did was I cranked in 190 yards or 100 190 cranks of 40 pound braid 190 cranks of 40 pound braid and 41 inches per crank and it came up to around 200 close to 220 yards that's what i got in here and anyway, i thought i'd share this with you if you put 50 pound braid straight on down it's about 195 yards uh, so it's got uh uh, this has more capacity, but it looks like basically the same thing. I'm not sure if this spool will fit, but it looks like it's the only same. The difference here is this is not chrome, this is black, the other one's chrome. And uh, only difference is the core, this thing has core protect and everything else. Uh, but uh, the difference only is basically is a uh, it's got the infinity drive, which was in the Stellas before. So, this is real number 80. We shall see how this one works. This one here went 355 hours basically. The original model at 20 in, in the year 2014. That's my go to after 79 reels. Field tested 79 reels. This one here, uh, not the JDM model, the regular um, export one, USA one. That went for 355. Anything, any reel that got closer to that was um, the Tsunami Saltex. But that one there, like I said, was. Close to three hundred, close to four hundred dollars. That went for one hundred and thirty-five hours. Big difference from one hundred thirty-five to three hundred fifty-five hours. And it's probably see it's watertight and waterproof and all this kind of stuff. So thought I'd share that with you folks. So this is the new one after about six years later. Again, WWJ whipping with Joe. Hearing the crank here. That's a little, it's a little, this a little twangy. Hard to tell. It's it's louder compared to this one. Yep. But then again, this is WWJ whipping with Joe. Real number eight zero, the Spheros SW six thousand, high speed. Aloha. <laughs>